Well, hey, welcome back to my little gardening show. This is the weekend of food preservation. We spent the early part of the day getting sweet corn. We got about 20 pounds of blueberries. Awesome little farm that had a you pick for like 250 a pound. Uh, pretty good deal. Uh, we got about 12 dozen years of corn, maybe not quite that, that we're going to process. So I wanted to take you along for that. So um, it's important to be organized before you get into doing something like this, at least on a big scale. So the first thing we did is I had the kids shuck the corn. We laid out a uh, filter cloth or basically a drop cloth that painters would use. They sat around, shucked the corn, kept all the mess there. We're going to wrap it up and then dump that off at um, dad's little mulch pile or whatever and let all that break down. Once the kids uh, got that done, we got the corn in the bags. So we got all the corn in the bags here. And then we laid out the rest of the operation. I've got a cauldron of hot water and a stoneware pot that's going. It's pretty well ready to go. I've got a big cooler uh, full of ice water so that when we uh, blanch the corn, we can cool it off real quick. Then we can pull it out with my electric knife and zip the corn off. I had a corn zipper. I can't find it, but uh, this will work. Let's get the corn cut on here. I can lift this out, dump it in my smaller pot. And then once all that's done, I got my food saver that we're going to hook up with my quart size bags. My one cup scooper, we'll put about three cups in each bag and uh, vacuum, vacuum seal them and we should be good to go. Now, food preservation is not for the faint of heart. You know, basically commitment of some resources, commitment of time. I mean, that's basically all of Saturday afternoon. Actually, a good chunk of Saturday because we went to the farm to pick a bunch of stuff um, that I'm currently not growing out at my dad's house, you know, to kind of supplement stuff. And then we get all the time, that's gonna be wrapped up in processing it. Um, so there's kind of pros and cons on that. I mean, you gotta value, you know, figure out, you know, how much is your time really worth? You have other things going on that are uh, more important or pressing. Um, for us, you know, we're pretty simple, live a simple life. We're not out gallivanting around, um, doing a whole lot during the summers, mostly just enjoying the outdoors and, um, enjoying growing food and uh, part of the fun is putting it out and processing it because you get a lot of quality time with the uh, the kiddos you know hanging out with the family um, usually some good conversation uh, though this afternoon it's gonna be a little different this afternoon I'm actually gonna get a little bit of quiet time doing this because the uh, kids are wanting to go swimming and my one daughter she uh, house sits uh, dog sits for a neighbor that's a couple doors down they've got a nice in-ground pool so family's gonna go swimming while I'm working on this. All right, let's get some corn in that cauldron. Kids did a pretty decent job. I mean, there's not a ton of furries on or silks on this corn. One thing that's nice having a big stockpile like this, I can get a lot of corn in there. This is kind of like a white, white corn. There's some bicolor corn too. Alright, we'll start out with that. All right, so I went ahead and covered the uh, the pot. We're gonna let that go for a couple minutes till the corn's blanched. All right, so the corn's been in there for about three minutes or so. And throw it over into the ice bath. Now, any of the silks that were still on there, they pretty much came off into the, this hot bath here, so the, the corn is pretty well clean. What are you doing? Getting my swimming flippers. Oh. I can't swim without them. 
Well, have fun out there, okay? Bye bye, honey. All right, so that corn is going to stay in the ice bath till it's it's cooled down a good deal, probably about two minutes, and then I'll start pulling ears out and zipping it with my electric knife. Now um, we're not using like a recipe per se, like a um, we're not doing like freezer corn. We're adding like salt and butter. What we found is, I mean, you can pretty much just um, blanch it and then put it in your freezer bags and it's it's good and in that way you can season it however you want to uh, once you pull it out it's not already seasoned for you so it works out pretty well all right so my corn's pretty much ready I move my cauldron top Let's zoom out so you can see that off to the side that way I can dump my corn out All right, so I did a few um, test bags. I'll show you this food saver here. I did a batch, probably about 16 ears of corn. Um, and I'm putting about four cups per bag. Let me show you this real quick. So it's working out pretty well. Four cups, pretty well sealed in there, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up another quart size bag. Use my little canning funnel. I'm doing that so I keep the uh, the top part of the bag clean, you know, and get the corn in there without getting any kind of residue on that side, so that it gets a better seal. Also, just helps I can get a whole scoop there and not have to worry about corn going everywhere. I think I've got enough to do a, a quart here in this container, so I just kind of throw that in there and keep things clean. So I got my corn in there, just pull my funnel out. Just gonna tamp this down just a little bit. I'm 
I'm just going to lift this up, insert this so that the uh, edge of it's kind of over the drip tray and just I've got it selected on moist. pulled some fluid out but that's okay I mean it's sitting like super super wet ceiling now looks pretty good all right so we've been at it for a while I've got probably about um, eight or ten quarts of corn one little trick I want to show you. One problem with this food saver is that um, most of the food that you, you know, at least that we're going to be using that for is somewhat, you know, a little damp or moist. And so you either have to spend extra money to get the bags. You get a couple options. You can either spend the extra money to get the bags that have the, uh, the absorbent padding built in so that when fluid's being sucked up as the bag is compressing, it catches it so that the seal there's a good seal that forms. Uh, your other option is that you can kind of um, um, put your stuff in the freezer for just a little bit, um, you know, and kind of give it, get it to where it's kind of solid. I did that with the peaches that we uh, use a food saver on, where I quartered them, put them on a cookie sheet, and then put them in a flash freeze them in the freezer for about like 10 minutes or whatever. Brought them out and and then uh, bagged them up real quick before they thaw so I didn't have to deal with the, uh, the moisture issue. The third option, which I'm using on this corn because I don't feel like, you know, uh, flash freezing it or whatever, is I've just got a roll of paper towels and I'll, I'll show you that. And I'm just tearing strips and then after I fill my bag, I'm just tucking in a piece of paper towel down into the bag. And then as uh, the thing's being closed up and it starts doing its thing, that liquid hits the paper towel and then um, it's working its way up but it's enough time that that seal can form without anything you know without that moisture going and interfering with the seal so I want to show you that real quick let's get our quart size bag and my corn in this pot to keep the flies from getting at it We got roughly four uh, four cups of corn in the bag. We're gonna tamp this down real good. And I've got basically it's a half strip of uh, paper towel. Like it's it's um, in these little sheets. It's basically a half sheet. But then what I'm gonna do? I just fold in. Uh, both sides, you know, kind of eyeballing it just enough that I can start getting it in here. I'm just kind of push that down and make sure it's got good contact with the sides of the bag there, like so. And I'm going to throw this up in the uh, food saver. Well, I thought it was. Push the sides. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but the fluid had just hit that paper towel, it's starting to seep through. And there's just a little bit that um, went past, but not a whole lot. You can tell if the bag's got a good seal because you can see bubbles still coming if it didn't seal. When when that stops, that's a sign that the seal took. And the seal, well, it looks like we got just one little side.
there it took no more bubbles sometimes you gotta run these bags through twice to get it but basically there's a seal along the side of that now All right, so I've got all the corn bagged up. The last step is to label the bags real quick and just see how much I've got, and then we're gonna throw them in the freezer. All right, everything's labeled. We've got uh, 15 quarts of uh, sweet corn there. So pretty good. I'm gonna get this down in the freezer. All right, looking good. Well, it looks like the little kids are back from swimming. They're porking up on blueberries. Speaking of which, one last thing, I am uh, processing the blueberries as well. Only uh, three cups per bag. It's a pretty good chunk. And these are sealing really well. So I don't need to use like the paper towel with that. One thing I'm doing though, just to make sure it's a good seal is like once it, it does its vacuum thing and then it indicates it's sealing, I push down on that bar, like just to add some additional pressure to make sure it's making contact with with a heat element there and no issues. So well, I guess that's it for now. Till next time. Happy gardening. Bye. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Before you came round, I was ready to slow down.